the Debbie's Back Porch. So glad you joined us again tonight. Uh, I'm going to make a nice low-carb side dish uh, for those of us who try to stay low-carb. It sometimes gets pretty darn boring. So uh, we're going to make a cauliflower au gratin, and it's going to have a creamy, yummy cheese sauce, and you're not going to miss potatoes at all. Uh, we're doing that while we're fixing the rest of dinner, so you may hear some things cooking and see some other things going on. Um, but I'm going to stick in this video to the uh, cauliflower au gratin, because it's wonderful. And this is the time of year when many of us have cauliflower that we're just picking out of our garden. So stick with us, and we're going to make something scrumptious and low-carb. Thanks. Right okay, back. here we go, cauliflower au gratin. I've got a half stick of butter here and an enamel pan. And I'm using an enamel pan uh, because I don't want the sauce to turn dark. So I'm using my enamel cast iron pan. And that's about a quarter cup of flour. And we're going to cook it just long enough to get the pasty flavor out. We don't want it to turn dark, but we want the pasty flavor out. Right back here, I have a steamer. And I have here, uh, there you go, one small head of cauliflower. And my water is already boiling because I don't want to overcook this. And you can time it better if your water is boiling when you start. So I'm going to time this for about six minutes. And let's go back. to our bechamel sauce. Now that's a quarter cup butter, a quarter cup flour. You can use cornstarch. I have here two and a half cups of milk. And that's a little more than you would normally put, but I'm adding lots of cheese, and the cheese is going to thicken it. That's whole milk. You could use half and half, you could use heavy cream. I have whole milk. This is a teaspoonful of salt. And full disclosure here, if you're making a bechamel sauce, it actually calls for nutmeg. But I don't want nutmeg in it, so I'm not going to put nutmeg in it. Got this on medium heat. I'm sorry, I know there's a lot of noise in the background, but I think you can hear me. This dishwasher, there's a saw outside, there's a tractor outside, and there's dogs in and out. But that's just how it is around here. have here, just waiting to use, three quarters cup white cheddar, and it's chopped up in little pieces. I would have grated it, except when Fred went to the store and got it, he got it sliced, and so I just chopped it up. And then I have three quarters of a cup of uh, yellow cheddar, so really sharp and mild mixed together and we're just waiting for this to start bubbling to add the cheese. Ah, there we go. 
I add the cheese kind of slowly. I want it to kind of melt as we go. See if we're getting strings so it's melting. And I almost forgot, let's add a little black pepper to this. Fred likes black pepper. about three quarters of a cup of the white sharp cheddar cheese and you can see that it's melting as we go and I'm going to add about half of this other cheese we have one more minute on our cauliflower Turning the cauliflower off. And we're going to move it right over here to our cheese sauce. the top with the rest of the yellow cheese and turn it off. This goes in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Mm, I'll be back. There you have it, hot and bubbly out of the oven. Let's plate this up and have dinner. Well here you have it, cauliflower au gratin. And the sauce is rich and creamy, and it will make you feel like you're off your diet, even though you're really not. This recipe uh, 
could take, could handle uh, much more cauliflower. Uh, it's, it's a recipe for a medium size head of cauliflower and if you want to make it for just two folks you can cut it in half. I hope you enjoy this. I, I really love it because you know when you're on a low carb diet sometimes everything gets boring and this is never boring. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. So glad you could join us tonight. Hope to see you again tomorrow.